Hey everyone, it's Overlord 72 from GameAnyone.com and we're back playing Enslaved on the PlayStation 3. And we've got some more orbs to collect and some little girls to carry around. So, making sure we avoid all these nasty mines because we don't want to get blown to little pieces. Cannot carry. You cannot clamber with here. Clamber, that's a new word for it. Right, she can stay down there then. And we'll make his way up to this broken bridge thing to collect any orbs that are lying around. as we can. I think it's on the next next chapter after this one I think we get to <coughs> start doing upgrades. Some of which are extremely handy in later levels. Right, where was that ramp up? Let's go back the same way. Gonna jump a bit too far then. Come on. Let's see what she spotted. That ledge. I'll look for a way through. Okay. So, the orbs actually give you a bit of an indication of which area you're going to next as well, which is good. Up there. I can get across up here. Okay. Bully for you. I can't. I'll go the hard way. And collect the orbs without getting too close to the mines. Right, now we got a mech jump out and attack us in a moment, so we'll be ready with the shield. Watch out! If we turn him around a bit, we can get a trophy here for throwing him on the minefield. By using the sweep attack and push him back onto the mines and blow him up, and we'll get a trophy unlock at a moment. There we go. Mind the gap. There's an orb down the bottom there that I've missed as well. I'll have to make sure I pick that up in a moment. Just get these up on the sledge. There's a couple down there actually. demanding. Right, before we throw her across there, just run across and get this orb. It's a bit sneaky that one. Easily missed again. Right, we've got to throw across this way. And as soon as we throw, we jump straight across because she doesn't quite make the jump and we have to pull her up. Otherwise, she falls and dies. And then so do we. Which is not good. This is 
sentry turret over there. We won't be able to get past. I'm gonna scan. I'm detecting a structural weakness. If you could get close, you might be able to knock that down and crush it. Right, you can see there's an orb over there as well, which we need to get. Um, so first thing, bring up the menu. Got to create a distraction while we just make his way down this way. I'll just sit behind here just for a moment. Just let the decoy build back up. area. Now we make a mud dash for it. Just keep it in there, you can't get us on this bit. Yeah, you can't spot us so he gives up there. So another opportunity here to get another trophy, which is, I think it's called something like a lover not a fighter, which is basically sneak past an area of mechs without using any combat, so we'll go for that one now. Just collect what orbs we can as well. As long as we don't win the, the blue area, they won't become active and we're safe. Fairly easy this one to get. Obviously, if you want extra orbs, you can you can um, destroy them. Well, I'll show you how to get the trophy while we're doing it. That's as simple as that. Once we jump down. Okay, I got past. Oh, it doesn't actually see us as we run along this back wall. And there's the trophy unlocking. Lover, not a fighter. Make his way up to these plasma bolts. Okay, made it. So now, using our staff, we can push these out of the way. That says bye bye to the turret. And now we're getting attacked by Nexa Max again because we've been so noisy so quickly get down the bottom. Get the plasma bolt in. Make sure we distract them as well. I'll just pause that for a moment because I've just lost um, one of my triggers on my controller has just fallen off. I'll put that back on. Selves now. It's worse than getting cornered. Right, oh, let's go rid of them. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Take this thing off. 
Yeah, bitch, take it off. Take it all off. Ha ha ha. Um. Sadly, what orbs there are around? These ones. Just steadily walk up. And to get those. I think that was it for that area. Right. Let's continue. If we're going to be traveling together, maybe we should exchange names. No, you won't know me. My name is Trip Taka, but I often get called Trip. I mean, pretty much always. People call me Trip. How about you? I don't have a name. You must. Everyone has a name. Not everyone. Well, what did your parents call you? They were killed in a mech attack when I was a kid. I grew up in the wilds. Alone. Well. What do other people call you then? Monkey. In the communities I trade with, some of them call me Monkey. If you want to give me a name, you can use that. Okay. Monkey. Yeah, Monkey. So there we go. Now we have his names. Which brings back memories of an old TV program from when I was a kid. Awesome. But at least he doesn't start pulling their hairs out of his chest in this game. a fuel source. Fuel cell? No. This is from the old days. It's in that container. Looks like it's petroleum. You know, Monkey, if you could actually get up to that turret, you can take control of it. Right. So again, set the decoy and make a dash for it. Just stuck down behind this car for a moment. Or oh, what's left of it. barbell back up and same again. Okay, fully charged. Just ignore any orbs for now. Jump over my dash for it. So we're down here, we're out of the uh, turret's line of sight, so we're pretty safe to climb up now. circle to do a takedown. My toys, I'll have that, thank you very much. Now let's blow this shit to hell. Kaboom! Oh yeah. Let's make some noise. Zoom in, there's a few exploding barrels, but we may not need those. Where, where, where? Where's the max? Where's everywhere?
blow the barrels, that destroys them too nice and quickly. There's another one. Sneaky. Yeah, you get the odd one that starts time of coming down on him if he gets to zero and they get reinforcements, so let's take them out as quick as possible. Otherwise you end up with a few more enemies to destroy. Right, we can get off that now and make his way back down to trip. And here clear the area of any orbs then. area first and then we'll look at the upgrades. We went that way didn't we before? any on ground level or not. I've got a feeling there was somewhere but I'm not going to piss about looking for them. There's one going in that car. Thank you. Can you help me across? God again. We bat your eyelids when she says it. Can you help me, Chris? Oh. Right, before we down there, let's look at the upgrades. So, we have shield upgrades, combat upgrades, health upgrades, and staff upgrades. One of the ones that I found very useful was the combat awareness. So we'll grab that one first of all. Which basically any enemies that are going to attack you just before the attack glow red. So it gives you a visual hint on where the next attack's coming from. And if they're blocking they glow blue. And when they're vulnerable to attack they'll glow yellow. Which is extremely handy. Right, evade attacks. Wide attack upgrade quite expensive some of these for now we get loads and loads of orbs later so we'll get most of them but for now I shan't bother too much plasma damages fire rates I want to upgrade the shield a little bit just block strength and shield strength the recharge I'll not worry about that just for now Um, put a little bit more on the health as well. See, the, you can start regenerating your health, but again, you're using quite a lot of your orbs, so... I shan't, for now. With the shield strength, and that will do for now. Alright, let's jump down. As you can see, we've got quite a good boost on the shield and health bonuses now. Picked a few of 
few more ropes up there and it just gives a little memo just to know that there's more upgrades available which basically means I can afford to upgrade something else probably on the combat but I'm going to save up for some of the others first of all as soon as we jump, jump down make sure we pick the orbs up and then on this bit if we turn around there's some plasma bolts which are very handy sense. The sunlight feeds the plants. The plants oxygenate the water. The small fish eat the algae. The big fish eat the small fish. It's a closed ecosystem. Just like my home. My father designed our community to work in exactly the same way so that we'd never have to leave the outer compound walls. We grow our own food, condense our own water, create our own energy. We have everything. Except the future. What do you mean? Well, I've seen it all before. Scattered tribes coming together under one visionary leader. It's never long before they attract the attention of the slavers, which obviously has already happened. It was just one slave ship. Only caught a handful of us. Think more won't follow. These fish can survive for 200 years against all the odds. So can we. Oh dear. So much for the fishies. Dude. Alright, this guy's got some big fisty cuffs. They all knock tons shades of shit out of you. So the first thing we do is ignore him completely, pick up the orbs. Make sure we've got them, there's a couple of health packs around as well if we need them. We can use the plasma bolt, but we need to headshot him, otherwise he just bounce off like that. And he smacks his one. So let you get close in let's get a few hits in at him. Dodge out the way. Keep doing that as much as we can. Use the statue thing to cover. Let him keep coming to us. Oh, he's, he's. Does that jump attack? He's slung him a little bit longer, so you normally get two good hits in on him. Now he's pissed. So what we can do now? Now he's enraged. His bloody taunt him. And he'll run into the statue. Do it again. Do it again. Let's piss him off. Let's make him angry. Same again, enrage him, get around the other side. Give me a shout and the stupid twat runs into the statue. Ooh, he got me. Enrage for the final time. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're going into that. Lag glitch thing that I didn't like. When I finished that combat, he wouldn't let me dodge out of the way because he sort of stands still and puts his weapon away. But he's squashed now anyway. He's done for. Bit like the poor fishies. Waste not, want not. Get the fire going. Scan this thing. Uh, 
you kill my fishies. And that is the end of chapter two. Catch, catch you soon in chapter three, guys. <laughs>